Hello, my name is Ash, and welcome to my playthrough of XCOM Enemy Unknown. Um, i just going to start a new game here. Um, I ran through the tutorial already, and so I'm not going to be running through that. If you'd like to see the tutorial, I did it on the XCOM demo video that I put up. And it's basically the same thing with a few minor differences. Um, there's like, um, like a few extra steps, essentially. But um, it's nothing too amazing, so I'm thinking I'm just going to skip it and jump right into the game. I'm going to be playing on Classic Difficulty and Iron, Mo Iron Man Mode Enabled. Enabled. Um, and Iron Man Mode basically means that um, I cannot reload my game if something bad happens. I can't like s you know save it beforehand and then reload to an earlier save. So um, I'm stuck with my decisions. You know anything that happens, it's you know that's it. All right, here we go, guys. I'm excited. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. That's my best uh, Carl Sagan. I love Carl Sagan, but I do a terrible Carl Sagan impression. Unless he's saying billions and billions and whatnot. to work on that. Green misty thing. Let's investigate. Nothing bad could happen from this. Pretty. What does this thing do? Oh god, I killed everybody. This is just like happened last time. Run, ginger man. Run. Shall be avenged, Ginger Man. We will not stand for this. Looks like they got uh, they got turned into vegetables or something. He's gonna make a weak grass milkshake out of them. Vigolo can follow. Oh, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. That was a lot of big words. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. I got this. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. G.I. Joe, I mean, XCOM, Enemy Unknown. Don't you think a G.I. Joe game like this would be pretty badass? You know? Go Joe. Lost opportunity. Okay, so now I have to choose where I'm going to put my base. Now, um, when I played the tutorial, I noticed that I can't actually build laboratories right away. And um, so it's not like the most important thing right from the beginning. Although, I do like put. I used to put it in Europe all the time when I played the, er the first XCOM, so I might do that. Asia, all projects in the Foundry and Officer Training School cost 50% less. Now, the Officer Training School is, those are upgrades, they're kind of one-time purchase upgrades. It's not like a continual thing that happens every month. Um, and I don't, I've never built a Foundry, so I'm not exactly sure what that will give me. Okay, autopsies and interrogations. Um, I mean, I'm not sure what autopsies and interrogations actually do for you. So I'm not too worried about that. That doesn't seem like something that will be good throughout the game. Monthly XCOM funding increased by 30%. You really can't go wrong with that. I mean, 30% funding is 30% funding. I think I'm going to go with the air and space, though, just because I noticed that you need to... Not only do you need to build and buy new aircraft all the time, but you, you, know, you need to maintain them so that you can shoot down UFOs. And you do want to have a good force of these. And 
that decreases panic and that helps uh, you know keep your funding up and all that good stuff so I think we'll go with air and space plus I'm going I'm to be putting down in Mexico America. for this oh my god look at these guys we picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity going with the old school the XCOM. they all got area. bitch and mustaches get down there and eliminate any hostiles all right so we're at a gas station interesting it's like a truck stop launch the mission Never seen this map. This is all brand new. Strike one. This is Central. See how this goes. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Thanks, Brad. Mr. Tidy Whiteys. That's what I like to call him. Okay, let's see. So we have. We have cover in this place. We have high cover here. We have high cover there, but we could get flanked coming from this direction. And have high cover here, but we can get flanked from that direction. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's see here. Right. Brendan Kennedy. Or red shirt number one, as I'm going to refer to you from now on. Move up to the box. What can you see? Nothing. Okay, Wang. Hello, Wang. Now up here is half cover, but I'm not a huge fan of half cover. Half cover is not ideal. If I go there, I mean, I'll be able to see around this corner and have high cover. I uh, have a high cover from it, but I won't have any cover from this angle, and that. I think the map looks like it's going off in this direction. This looks like it ends over here. Yeah, the border is over here, so it must go off in that direction. So we'll have you cover this angle here. Don't see anyone yet. Hey, 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 you! You seen any aliens? All right. This is only half cover. So I don't like it, but it's better than no cover. We're doing it. We're committing. And you, sir, O'Reilly. Oh God, O'Reilly. Oh, I see them. All right, good. Now I didn't dash, so I do have all my shots still. But they're all in kind of good cover. How did he see them? And they didn't. Now they're back, they're back this way, so they could easily flank me from that position. Let's move her around. We're gonna put... he doesn't have good cover from his position either. I don't want to move him too far up though. Let's put him up in the truck. So at least he'll have high cover there. You, sir, are going on Overwatch. And so are you. Although I don't think you have a good point to say that. Yeah, good thing I moved him. Alright, so he's on Overwatch now. He's firing. It's Miss. raining death over here! Raining death? Calm down, lady. Overwatch shot! Ow, oh, you missed. Darn it. What about the other guy, huh? No. Oh, wow. Good lord. That might be a good place for a grenade. Jeez. They're just loaded up in that container. Okay. Now, he's on Overwatch. So if I move her, he's gonna get a bunch of shots off. What about this guy? You see, he can't see anybody. Awesome. But she can see two of them. Wow. He's out in the open, and she only gets a 30% chance to hit? There's something wrong with that. Well, let's see. Hold on. More in 
info. Why is that? Now, why is he in high cover? He's not in high cover. Not from her. That's kind of bull, if you ask me. There's something wrong with that. I mean, at least I have high cover, but still. Right, what can I do then? What if I... Now, I know if I dash, I get a better chance to dodge. Maybe I can dash this high cover, waste his overwatch, and have a clean shot on him. Maybe I can flank him. This is a gamble. We're doing it. Miss. Miss. Got a lot of yeah. Oh wow, destroyed part of the container. Alright, now he doesn't have a shot. But now... She has about the same chance to hit that guy. Still doesn't have a shot. But at least his overwatch is burned. Maybe we can move him, move her up. That's... Yeah, she can get there. That's high cover. Maybe I can flank him from that direction. There we go. That's better. That is more better. What about that guy? Same amount. Okay. Doing it. Oh, yeah. That's good tactics right there. I like Their it. weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. No problem, Doctor. Okay. Now that guy has high cover. He's gonna be a, a tough cookie to crack. Alright, so they're all... They all seem to be around here. There's high cover there. I might want to throw a grenade in there. Hold on. Let's see what's his percentage. Not very good. What if we throw a grenade in there? That'll destroy the container. It'll hit one of the aliens at least, and destroy all their cover if I don't kill them. Catch. Open up some sight lines. Mm. Oh, I got three of them. Your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly and effective at killing aliens, <laughs> they also exposed. destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Listen, Dr. Vaughn, I appreciate trying to do. Why is he in high cover? Alright, he's high cover on that side, so if I can get around, I can flank him. Now, I don't want to... Wow, now he has sight on this guy. I've really got to kill him. If I get around this side, I should be able to flank him. But he'll be flanking me. This is a high risk situation. I don't want to go there. Well, I could go in there, actually. And I wouldn't be dashing, and I'd have a shot, I think, right? No, that container's closed. Sadly. I was hoping that this would be open. It's gonna have cover on both sides. Okay. Is this a door? It doesn't look like a door. Limited options. That's dashing. Can't do that. Well, yeah, if I go there, I'm gonna be flanked, but he should be flanked as well. Let's try it. Whoa, he gets over. I didn't know he was on it. Well, at least I'm flanking him. It's the best I can do. Kill confirmed. Closer. And there, he's going for point blank. Whew. Closer. Uh -huh. And explosions. Wow, this is this has been a crazy fight, guys. I'll tell you what. This is the opening mission. It doesn't get any easier than this. Only 53. Why is that? Because he's in high cover. Just check. Maybe we can get a better shot. No. Uh, no, he doesn't have a shot. No. Not 
he's being flanked by what? Who the heck is flanking him? Oh, it must be that guy. So you need to get to him. Let's take the uh, low percentage shots first. Ooh, that is not good. What about a little bit of you? Got a shot as well. Not a good one. Come on, one of these has to get it. That's the best chance I got. Come on. Oh, me too. Seriously? Strategic retreat. Line. Get up in here. Let's see what we can find the person. He's retreating. Yeah, I probably should have put someone on Overwatch because that's what he's doing. Get him. I could get him with a grenade, but I don't want to waste it. Well, not that I don't want to waste it, but I don't want to... I've already killed three with a grenade, and so those are materials I'm not going to get. And I need those for research. You can see... I mean, I've got... I wish I could suppress it or something. Oh wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Is her cover blown? Take camera. No, okay. I'm just sorry. I had a oh crap moment where I thought, oh my god, she doesn't have cover anymore. That's a pump that we can blow up, probably. Well, let's put her on Overwatch. And, um. With this guy, maybe we'll take him around the other side. Difficult to get this one alien. He's entrenched. That doesn't look like a good place. Can get here. But uh, remember, he can see me. Oh no, he can't. He doesn't have sight. He doesn't have sight. Okay. That guy has cover, at least on that side. I have one guy on Overwatch, so let's, let's try and take one shot. Dang it. Damn it! Yeah, man. And if I try and get out, he's just gonna use his Overwatch, is gonna go off again. Ugh. This is difficult. Well, let's just. Get there and then flank him, hopefully. Oh, he can see me. There we go. 97. You just got XCOM, buddy. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander. Ooh, wow. The labs are on high. I gotta alert. tell you, that Teams was scary. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly. Job well done. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Sub Officer Brad? Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Mr. Providing Tidy tactical White support himself. for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current you just situation. Know that he just has the My tightest efforts should the allow you to focus on the bigger the issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. Pretty sure that's what I'll the aliens are here for, is for underwear that tight and that supportive. Bounce a quarter off his hair. Okay. Alright, so 
sadly. Alright, so we got a sniper. We got a support soldier and an assault soldier. How about that? Kind of a cool spread. O'Reilly to the kill. research labs. Commander to the research labs. <laughs> Brendan Kennedy got four kills. Wow. All right, good the job. The assault buddy. class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and All the right. last ones out. Well, this guy's already off to a really good start, so I think this is going to be me. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible class, edge our okay. squads need. So he's like our they healer. Make everyone around them better. And snipers. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage Get from afar. Yeah. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. And, um, let's see, our support is out for two weeks. They recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. Okay, nice. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Yeah, I think we killed three with one grenade. That was so cool. <laughs> that was huge. I mean, but you don't get the materials for doing that, so it's, it's such a double-edged sword. Alright. Well, um, I'm gonna end the video there. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. And I'm gonna name my soldiers, and then we'll get back into the next mission. So, see you then.